So we're here at, uh, at the ARM booth, so who are you? Hi, I'm John Heinlein, Vice President of Marketing for the Physical IP Division of ARM. So what does that mean? What do you do? So Physical IP is all about chip implementation. Uh, we provide standard cells, libraries, input-output interfaces, the kinds of building blocks that customers use to actually take an ARM design and put it into a silicon chip. So uh, what are you showing over here? So we're talking today at the show about manufacturing leadership and how we're making sure that the ARM partnership will be able to have manufacturing capabilities well into the future. One of the key themes for the show today is a FinFET technology. There's a lot of uh, buzz in the industry about FinFETs. Not everyone understands what they mean or what benefits they bring. And we're trying to make sure that we're bringing FinFET capabilities to the ARM partnership. So that's 14 nanometer? FinFETs are going to roll out at 16 nanometer and 14 nanometer at a variety of foundries. We're showing a video here that shows the motivation for why you want to have FinFETs. Talking about some of the limitations of planar transistors. And then we're showing models, larger than life models, that show uh, what fin how FinFETs work and giving our partners some visualization. So getting down there to 14 nanometers is kind of like a huge thing, right? It's a continuous progress. We continue to, to, to shrink node after node every two years. It's a natural progression. With FinFETs, we're changing the architecture of the transistor from a planar one to a 3D one. But from a scaling perspective, it continues the scaling we've been doing for you know, 20 years. Can, our technical you... marketing guy can give you an introduction to the FinFET models. Sure. Um, this is the traditional kind of transistor. Uh, this part is the gate, this part is, is the drain. So currently traditionally flowing from this and the gate has the control of the drain. And this is the newer FinFET model. Instead of having the flat 2D drain, it actually rotate 90 degrees to have a vertical fins. And the gate has three surrounding the fins to give a very good control of the current flowing and to make things that are not stronger in performance and lower in leakage. So how small is this? These are all designed, the, these fin fets are designed to be 14 nanometers, so this, there'd be billions of these on a ship. So what is 14 nanometer? Is it uh, this? The, the, the 14 nanometer typically refers to the critical dimension, which is, which is roughly, roughly this? this dimension from here to here, roughly. But once you get into these gener generations, it's not precisely 14, it's sort of in the vicinity of that. So you have 14 nanometer here, which is the transistor, what do you the call it? The transistor length is what we call it. Transistor and all the other stuff, what is that? These are different, this is the gate that controls the current flow. These are different transistor fins, as they're called. So in this case, this is a three-fin transistor, where current flows in these three paths. So does that mean 3D? The 3D aspect has to do with the fact that the fin is coming out of the body. You see here, it's, it's essentially flat, and so that's why they're calling these 3D transistors, because the fin comes out of the body and is controlled on three sides. That's where the 3D name comes from. And uh, for sure it's going to work? Like every new transit, every new technology yeah. has to roll out, but the founders are uh, investing incredible amounts of capabilities to roll this out uh, in the next uh, in the next period. Next uh, couple of years. The TSMC said risk reduction. They said this yesterday. Risk reduction at the end of 2013.